Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Lachey here. Today I'm going to do this makeup eye look. Um, the palette comes from ColourPop and it's the Shayla in ColourPop collab. If you're interested in seeing how I created this eyeshadow look, please stick around and keep on watching. So first things first, shout out to Makeup Shayla um, for doing this collab with ColourPop. I absolutely love this palette. It gives you so many different creative looks that you can do. You can do a bold look, you can do a neutral look, anything that your little heart desires, you can go ahead and create with this makeup palette. So I'm gonna start off using um, some base primer by P. Louise and it's in the shade number four. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab brush and it's JH31. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip it into my first color. It's Culture from the palette. And I like to just put that all over my lid just as a base. The color I'm using now is this orangey color from the palette, and it's in the color Thick. So now I'm gonna go grab this smaller blending brush. Um, I like it because it's a lot more stiff and it can collect the product a lot more easier. And it's another Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush in the number JH37. And I went ahead and dipped it into the color Revenge. It's a more red tone color and it definitely adds more definition to the eye look. So to also help me blend in this red color, I went back into Thick, the orange color, just to go ahead and help blend it out so everything can go in seamlessly and have a more contrasting look. So for this next shade, I'm going to use the same JH37 brush and I'm going to dip it into this brown here and the color is played out. As you can see, I did switch my brush. Um, when it comes to blending, you have to find a brush that works best for the blending areas that you are doing. So since I'm in the crease, I do need um, a more flexible, smaller blending brush. <laughs> so you'll see me going back and forth with different brushes. Um, it just necessarily helps the blending process. So now I'm gonna grab this brush by Luxie, number 246. It's the Precision Crease Brush. And I'm going ahead and use this to cut my crease. <laughs> and I know you can see that everything is not perfectly blended right now, but for a cut crease, you're gonna be adding so much more definition to the eyeshadow look. So you'll definitely see that later on in this look. So I'm gonna grab this little cheap brush that I got off of Amazon. Um, it is called BS Mall. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab that color culture that I used in the first part of the eyeshadow look. And I'm gonna go ahead and dab that all over where I put the cut crease. Now with that same brush, I'm gonna grab Spill the Tea from the palette. It's a shimmery kind of rose gold color and I'm gonna go ahead and put that towards the inner corner leaning towards the middle of the eye
So this is absolutely not a beginner friendly makeup look. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm taking those contrast colors, the red and the orange, and I'm just going in to help me blend out um, that darker brown color. The whole point of blending is to have everything run smoothly together. So that's all I'm doing here is I'm grabbing those colors that I started with and just blending them in to make everything run smooth. So now I'm going to grab this BH Cosmetic brush in a number 105 and I'm going to go ahead and spray that with some Fix Plus or you can spray with water. And I'm going to go ahead and dip that in Unbothered and I'm going to set that for my inner corner highlight. So now I'm going to take that color, that pinkish color from the palette, and it's called September. And I'm going to use my B Small brush, and I'm just kind of dab that in a C-like motion in the middle of the eyelid. So now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the blackest color, and I'm going to go ahead and create wings for this eyeshadow look. So here I am with my Last in Drama Matte um, Eyeliner Pencil and it's in the color Jet Black. So I went ahead and did my lashes off camera as you can see, um, but the mascara that I'm using now is pretty vulgar and it's in the color Faux Reels. So these pair of lashes that I have on are a pair of lashes that I got from Burlington when it was once open. Um, they're just a random pair of lashes. I don't have a brand name for them, but if you go to Burlington, you can find so many affordable lashes there. So here I am just grabbing that color thick from the palette using my BH Cosmetic 105 brush. And I just use that to just go ahead and smoke out that orange underneath my lash line. So I did go ahead and do my lips using the Shayla and ColourPop collab and the color is BFF3 and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this nice brown color. Shayla also collabed with ColourPop on this nude color and it's in the color Quickie. So to go ahead and gloss up this lip look, I'm going to grab um, this gloss balm from Fenty Beauty in the color Fussy. So here we have it guys, the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed me using this eyeshadow palette, the Makeup Shayla and ColourPop collab. If you guys are interested in more videos, please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And I would love to see you guys in a later video. Thank you so much. Bye.